everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaki and today I'm going to be showing you every single book on my shelves that is signed by an author. So I haven't uploaded on the channel for quite a while but I have a backlog of content coming um, and in February, although it is already the 10th of February, I was going to try and just put a lot more content out there because I really do miss posting on my booktube channel. I just haven't because of like mental health reasons and also I got really busy with uni and work and everything kind of just went tits up in January. But we are here, we are queer. That yeah, but but that's beside the point. As I said, I do have a lot of backlogged videos, so very soon you can expect to see a Alice Oseman signing vlog, which I'm going to be talking about briefly in this video, a filmathon vlog from the filmathon, which happened in January, and a January wrap up, and also a uh, bookshelf reorganisation video. Because as you can see by my shelves, they are a lot different than the last time that you saw them. So we will be kind of uploading those in the next couple weeks, um, and also filming some new stuff as well. I also really wanted to start doing reading vlogs again for this channel just because I haven't really been reading that much because of mental health reasons and being in a slump. I think the way of getting out of that for me is to be held accountable for my reading and the way that I personally did that is via reading vlogs and telling you about my reads on social media. So I thought I would give it a go and start today and see if it does help my reading in any kind of way. If it does then great, if not I'll just have to stop doing them, if you don't enjoy them that's fine. But I did run a poll on my uh, Instagram, my bookstagram and you guys really wanted them again so I thought I'd try that and if it doesn't work then I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> but yeah, let me know down below if you would like all of those videos and if you're excited for those and if you would also like the reading vlogs to start back up again. Um, not weekly vlogs as such, I think it will only be about reading so if you're not into that then maybe like it's not specifically for you although I don't know why you'd be on the channel if you're not a little bit into reading. But yeah, I'm just going to be telling you what I'm reading and stuff and that hopefully should be coming out next week if I start filming today, which I don't see why I won't because I'm filming this, aren't I? So that's great, everything is fine. But on to today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the signed books that I own because as I said, I have reorganized my bookshelves. Um, so I found a lot of signed books and I didn't really anticipate how many I actually had. So I think a lot of people who have signed books will know this and will say this also in the fact that all of my signed books do have stories to go along with them. So I'm gonna be sharing those as well. This first one is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Young. Now I haven't actually read this but I am so interested. I have just been in the biggest reading slump since about December, the end of last year. So I haven't really had a chance to pick this up in the time that I wanted to. But this is signed by the author Natasha Young, as you can see there. I got this in London while me and my sister and our friend went to go and see Hamilton with Joseph as the Skylar sisters. And we took a detour into the Big Forbidden Planet in London. And in their like section of books, you can go in there and get some signed copies. And I found this absolutely beautiful cover and I think my sister has the same one so there's really good memories attached to this book and the fact that I have it signed and I really can't wait to read it although I haven't yet I'm very very much slacking. <laughs> so these next two signed books I actually didn't go to a signing for either. My friend actually that came with us to go to Hamilton went to a Becky Abtali and Adam Silvera signing and she got me signed copies of both Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda and also What If Is Us by Becky Abtali and Adam Silvera. This one's just by Becky Abtali. Obviously these two are a little bit different because they were signed at a signing for What If It's Us. So they are both personalised because when you go to author signings you get like a little uh, post-it note with your name on and so the author can see what your name is. So both of these are personalised to Shakira or for Shakira uh, Becky Abertali. I love Becky Abertali's signature. It's so, so, so cute. Now these two, I did travel great lengths to go and see this author because she released a new book and then she came to Manchester. So I travelled all the way from my city to Manchester to go and see Andy Thomas and I got both the Hate You Give and On The Come Up signed. The day we went to go to this signing was very, very windy and rainy and it wasn't a very nice day. But when we made it to Manchester, I really, really liked the building it was in. I think it was in like an old library and it was really pretty. The signing was for On The Come Up, but I also bought my copy along of The Hate You Give Thug, both by Angie Thomas along to the signing and she did them both for me. I actually have a vlog of this and most of the author signs I will talk about in this video. I will link them all in the i bar and down below in the description box. But she was really nice, obviously, Angie Thomas is probably one of my inspirations honestly when it comes to writing and just being a human being in general. I also got to meet Angie obviously because I got my book signed um, and she freaked out at my Plum Bob Sims tattoo and she loved it and I think there's footage of that. I think Waverly captured some footage of me meeting Angie Thomas and showing her my Plum Bob. It's all in the vlog and I'll link it up above and down below. I love that vlog so much. In the books it's just 
Angie's signature. It might be personalised in on the come up. So, yeah, it's, it is. I still got my little post-it note. I also love Angie's signature as well. I think that, you know, when you're an author, you have to have a good signature. <laughs> I knew I was going to find books on my shelves that I didn't pick up because I didn't think they were signed. Sometimes Waterstones has these books and they'll have like a little sticker on. And actually, story time really quickly. Before Daisy Jones got really big, this beautiful UK edition was bought out. There was a signed edition of this book uh, in Waterstones and I didn't pick it up because I wasn't convinced I would like it. I then read it and I loved it and I have never regretted my existence more in my entire life. But the book I am speaking about in the fact that I did pick it up and I did enjoy it after I read it was A Brighter Fit by Kerry Drury and she's also signed this one. Uh, it just says Kerry Drury with two X's and I totally forgot I had this. I didn't go to a sign or anything. It was a signed edition already existing in Waterstones so I picked it up and I really liked it. These next two I did actually go for a signing for. Again, I will link it up above and down below my vlog of it but that is The Hormone Diaries and Doing It Both by Hannah Witten. Hannah was touring with The Hormone Diaries and she luckily came to my city so I bought my copy of Doing It Along to the tour to get it signed. Not really like a big story with this, I just went to Waterstones. I think this is the first time that I went to a signing on my own. Again, obviously the signing was for The Hormone Diaries but both of these signatures are um, personalised so it says Tushikira from Hannah and then in actual hormone diaries she used a red pen because why wouldn't you uh, it says to Shakira from Hannah these next three books I also forgot about until I was started making this video I can't believe I forgot about them either because there's a really good signing story that goes along with them I got three books signed at a Carrie Hope Fletcher signing for when the curtain falls when she released it but I also bought along my copy of on the other side and all that she can see to be signed and the good thing about this signing and the good memory that I have shared with it is the fact that it was kind of my very first encounter of like a fan. I put air quotes and use that quite loosely because me and the girl who came up to me during the queuing of Carrie Hope Fletcher's signing in Nottingham for When the Curtain Falls, her name is Hazel and we are still friends now, like we still talk on Bookstagram and I talk to her quite a lot um, and I let her know about my bookish opinions and she lets me know as well. So I've got really good memories attached to this signing as well, so that is really good. Obviously again the signing was actually for When the Curtain Falls, but I still got signatures in on the side which says to Shakira from Carrie. Also got one in All That She Can See as well. And also in When The Curtain Falls. This one says to Shakira, all my love, Carrie. Actually in the photos I had with Carrie, my hair is all up in her grill and she looks so uncomfortable. And if she'd have just told me to remove my ass, I would have moved my ear. These next two books I also just bought on a whim from Waterstones when they had like sign stickers on them. Um, I didn't go to a signing of either of these, which I really am gutted because I'd love to see this author in person. And that is Holly Bourne. So I have two Holly Bourne books signed. I have had Like Me Now when it first came out. This is her first adult novel. And then also this is like the Christmassy New Year version of the spinster club it's like a novella kind of thing that one's like right in the corner and then this one is just on the title page so yeah i unfortunately didn't get to meet holly again because i just bought them in waterstones and they were already pre-signed but i'm really happy to have them nonetheless the last three are from my most recent author signing and you guessed it that is for alice oseman and the release of heartstopper volume three now i haven't read it yet because i want to read the other two volumes at some point uh, in march but i did bring my other two volumes along to the signing to get signed as well. The line was so long, I was right at the back because I was running late all day. Um, and so I was right at the back, but I absolutely love that signing. I have really good memory of that as well, just because I was in a reading slump at the time and being surrounded by like readers and readers' voices and just talking about the books that I absolutely loved and talking to people in the line about Bookstagram and Booktube and talking to Alice Oseman about book fucking two. Obviously the signing was for volume three, but I got volumes one right there and also I got volume two signed as well still got my little post-it note and then i have the beautiful copy of volume three signed as well but yeah those are all of the books that i currently have signed there are quite a lot of them i found some more while i was going through my shelves and i can't believe that i missed them but i got them eventually i'm so sorry that i have been taking an unintentional break from booktube i should be back now i do again have lots of content that's backlogged and just need editing i've filmed some stuff just not edited it which is quite annoying but yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up if you did and i will see you next time